All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and I am so freaking excited and happy right now because Nintendo has finally, finally understood what Mario Party has needed for so long. I have no idea how Nintendo messed up one of my most beloved uh, franchises that they have with in Mario Party. You know, the N64 is the golden age in my opinion. Um, I didn't really play a lot of the GameCube games, but I have heard good things about that too. And then we got to the Wii, and uh, I think Mario Party 9 and 10, they ended up doing this really weird thing where you're all in a cart together and you all move together instead of, you know, going off on your own in different areas where you can screw other, you can still screw people in, in the cart together, but it's so, that is so not fun. Uh, it's much funner being able to choose your own path and you're not being involved with anybody else. That to me is Mario Party. But what we've needed in the past 10 years, at least, is online play. And what they did with Super Mario Party the, uh, on Switch, which is the only game that we currently have of Mario Party on the Switch at the moment, is that they added online play for 10 mini games. 10 mini games you were able to play. And the reasoning that Nintendo had for this was that they did not think that people would want to play half an hour to an hour of the board game. Really? It's Mario Party. That's the main appeal. There is hardly anybody just going in and playing the mini games. The mini games have no worth if all you're doing is playing the mini games. It's all about winning those mini games to get the coins so you can buy the stars and win the game. That's the 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 fun part about it. That that's Mario Party. <sighs> it's so frustrating that Nintendo did not understand this. I, I can I can I can kind of see like maybe in you know if in just like matchmaking, where you 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 randomly. Uh, are, are, are put in a group of, of like ra uh, random three other people. Maybe there might be one or two of them that drops out after 45 minutes or something like that. You could easily just implement it, that if somebody drops out, you can put a, a CPU, like a normal CPU in there to kind of continue on the game. But um, I, I think that for the most part, a lot of people just want to play this with their friends and family online. And especially in the last year, you know, while we were under quarantine lockdowns and all that kind of stuff, when you couldn't go visit people, this would have been the best time to do it last year. At least they're, they're finally doing it now. We still need to take this win uh, instead of just, you know, looking at the negatives. But finally, we have 70 of the mini games out of the 80 mini games are, are played online. I don't know why they're, they're holding out on 10 still, but whatever. It's a free update. 70 of the mini games are, are are available now, and we are able to play the board game online with friends and family. There's also a two versus two uh, partner mode that they have, so it's it's, it's basically just a, a team of two facing off against uh, the other team. So that's uh, an, another little added bonus. I just love that finally Nintendo has realized that online is important with this. I hope I am assuming now that every Mario Party going forward will have this option, and I'm so excited because. While I do enjoy Super Mario Party, I think that the mini games are pretty fun. The board games are a little bit, there's a little bit more that I would want uh, from these. I still think that they're okay, but they're not nearly as good as previous ones that I've played before. Uh, so as long as they don't go back to being in carts together and they continue making these online, and then they also have the option uh, to have really uh, like a bunch of different kinds of boards. I think that that's going to be the next thing that they're going to have to focus on is making these boards really intricate and fun and having, you know, things that you can screw people over. That's what we want. We want craziness on the board. And I think that you're, you're going to be well on your way to doing really well. And, and Super Mario Party Online, or Super Mario Party has done fantastic without even having this option to go online. With this free update, I'm really hoping that a lot of people end up picking this game up. I think I think it's done maybe 10 million sales or something. It's crazy how well this is done without even the option of online. So I think that in the future, this is going to do really well. And then in maybe two years from now, like not this year, but in 2022, I think you should definitely have a new Super Mario or, or a new Mario Party. And uh, that really focuses on some craziness on the boards. And they're going to do an, an even better job with that game selling online, potentially. Why do I keep saying online? Selling, not, not selling online, I guess, if you buy it online. But I'm just so excited with the word online right now, I guess. Uh, so there you have it. If you don't have this game, definitely look at a trailer of this. If the mini games seem like they would be kind of fun and, and take a look at the board games too. And you would want to play this online. We can now do it as a free update. So it's worth checking out. Thank you all for watching. You've been bearded in. Beardage.